Alrighty, here we are at number uh, two here. So this guy, <clears throat> uh, we are looking for the delta G. And again, I've given you H and I've given you delta S. So consequently, the easiest way to do this is to simply use this equation here. Now, what about the T? Well, to be honest, I got a little lazy here because I need to put the little zeros that are up here. Because remember, the little zeros mean that you are at standard conditions and if you are at standard conditions, then you are at 25 degrees Celsius or 298 Kelvin. So sometimes I get a little lazy with those things, but uh, <clears throat> they are indeed there. So consequently, I've got delta G, and then that's going to be equal to uh, delta H, which is my 176 uh, kilojoules per mole. And then I'm going to subtract from that the product of 298 Kelvin, and then that's going to be times the um, 284 uh, joules per mole Kelvin. But I've just made a mistake. Why? Because look at your units. This is kilojoules and this is joules. If you want to combine them into the same equation, you have to make sure they're the same unit. And so what I usually do is I take the joules and turn it into kilojoules by dividing by 1,000. And so now I have 0.284 that's there. So now my kilojoules is the same here and here, and I'm in good shape. And now I'm ready to go and do the math on this. And so consequently, when I'm all said and uh, done with this, I end up with about 84.6 kilojoules per mole as my answer.